Hello Year 12 and welcome to this Takeaway Teacher Media Studies um, special about the AS level Media Studies OCR exam uh, that's coming up in a few weeks now. Uh, all I'm intending to do here is to take you through the exam paper so you're clear on what, what it is that you're going to be asked to do. Okay, so what you can see on your screen now is uh, a past paper, this is from 2009 and this is very similar I think to what yours will look like you'll notice that it's a two hour exam but half an hour of that is taken up with watching the, the extract as I'll show you At the front of the paper is quite straightforward um, you've got 100 marks for this paper, you've got two sections, section A and section B right so if we look at section A first of all um, you have got, the, this is the one where you're shown the TV drama uh, extract and you're asked to write about the way something is represented in that extract. You get some instructions here, watching the unseen moving image extract. You'll be allowed two minutes to read the question first before the extract is screened, so you know what it is that you're looking for. Uh, then you'll watch it four times. First time, watch the extract, no notes. Just watch it and think about it and get your first impressions. Second screening watch the extract and make notes and on a different video I'll show you what that might look like then you've got a brief break so you've got a bit of time then without watching it to, to make notes third and fourth screening watch the extract and make notes the extract is likely to be between three and five minutes long uh, you're given a booklet in which you've, you can write the notes so you write notes for section A to be written in the answer booklet provided uh, put a diagonal line through your notes to show you examine it that's what they are Okay, um, so section A, textual analysis. In this instance, in 2009, it was a TV drama sequence. It was Doctor Who, series three, episode four, uh, and it was five minutes, six, sec six seconds. This uh, extract is available for you to watch on Takeaway Teacher in, the, in this playlist, I think, in the same playlist that you've watched this video. Okay, you then get to, I'm sorry, I've not quite got this on, the, uh, I've gone, gone over the edge slightly, but answer the question below, with detailed reference to specific examples from the extract only. So in this instance, you're just writing about the extract that you see. You don't write about other things that you might have studied in class. Note down that they've, they've obviously made in bold there. They want detailed reference to specific examples. You can't write generally here. You're doing a tight, focused analysis of what you see. The question, in this case, um, was... Discuss the ways in which the extract constructs the representation of gender using the following. And it asks for camera shots, angles, movement and composition, so camera work, editing, sound and mise-en-scene. So it gives you four different things to look at. And in terms of your planning, that's a gift really, because you, you know that you can write a section on, on the first one, then on the second, then on the third, then on the fourth. It should make structuring your essay really easy. The thing that might change is this bit here. So in this case, uh, and actually I think last year as well, they asked about gender. Now I think that makes it fairly likely that they might ask about something else here. So it might be the representation of race, uh, it might be the representation of youth or disability. Um, it, 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 it could be gender again, I suppose, be third year in a row. Um, but I think it, it, it's possible or likely that it's going to be something else. So you've got 50 marks available for this. Um, they advise you to write about to write for sort of 45 minutes on this on this question after having watched the uh, extracts. So you have an hour and a half left. So 45 minutes on this question, and then 45 minutes on section B. Now I'll just show you section B quickly. I've not got long, but this is the institutions and audiences bit. Um, Again, answer the question below, making detailed reference to examples from your case study material, so whatever case study you've done, which is likely to be on the Daily Mirror, uh, to support the points made in your answer. So it's not just writing about your case study, it's using your case study to support the points you make. The question in this case, how important is technological convergence for institutions and audiences within a media area which you've studied? And you are then asked to focus on one of the following media areas. Although you can make reference to other media, but focus on one. And in our case, we're focusing on newspapers and the newspaper industry.